I'm going to show you how to speed up your stable diffusion up to 10 times and all you need to do is just download one file and put it on your computer. Oh, and just between you and me, I have a fear of speed bumps, but I'm slowly getting over them. AI. So these are live renders, these are not sped up at all, and this is 1024 by 1024 SDXL images. We are going to be downloading something called an LCM LoRa. All the links are in the description below. So you're going to go to this page. You're going to download, depending on what you want, you have SDXL, SD 1.5 and SSD 1B. We're going to download first the SDXL and the 1.5. So go, here's the SDXL one, press files and versions. You have the save tensors here. So just download that. You're going to go into your stable diffusion folder models and then LoRa. Here you're going to save them. You're going to go back into that folder, find the file that you saved. We're going to rename that so you know which one it is. So this is the LCM SDXL. And we're going to do the same for the 1.5 and the SSD 1B if you are using that. So we downloaded the SD 1.5. We're renaming that SD 1.5. The SSD 1B LoRa is only going to be if you are using that specific model. So if you're not sure, you can skip that if you want to. If you're using Comfy UI, they're just going to be in the same models, LoRa's. Hey guys, remember to like and subscribe down below. I do the research so you don't have to. So I loaded a 1.5 model up here. I have loaded my LoRa as LCM SD1 here. If you don't have this, you can go into settings here, go down to user interface and scroll down. And here, quick settings list. If you change this, it's just going to see SD model checkpoint here. You can go in here and add SD LoRa and then you're going to have it the uh, same as me. You're going to need to apply the settings and probably reload the UI. Then you can load the LoRa's from up here. Now I have Medieval Viking Man Warrior. You're going to set this to eight steps. So eight steps is all you're going to need for this. I've loaded some of my styles. I have digital art, fantasy art, and I've also made a XYZ plot here. So you're going to see the difference between the samplers. A lot of the samplers here that has have CFG values between one, one and a half and two. I would say the max you're going to use here is two. So use between one and two. If you're using Comfy, you can use the LCM sampler. As of recording, this video is not available in Automatic 11.11. But probably will be very soon. So I'm generating now this in real time. So here's a lot of images, and we can see here if you can see the speed, we're getting about 20, sometimes 27, 10 iterations per second here. So these are a lot of images. Uh, I would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30 ish times 3. So these are about 100 images just popping out here now live in front of your eyes. Now bear in mind I have a, a very fast GPU, I have the 4090, but even on a low-end GPU this is going to be much much faster and even on a Mac this is going to help tremendously. I think Mac has some of the best gains. Uh, so the grid is complete now, I'm going to get it up here for you, I'm just going to zoom in and a lot of these images are going to be messy and you don't want that. So my favorite sample, like the 2M Keras, for example, isn't working great with the LCM LoRa. So as you can see, both from CFG scale 1, 1.5 and, and 2 is not fantastic. However, some of the samplers, like Euler A here, for example, are all looking beautiful in, in all of the CFGs. Let me show you some, some samplers that do look good because most of these here you can see will not work. If you're in Comfy, the LCM sampler is gonna look amazing, but like I said, not available in Automatic 11.11 yet. So just keep moving here. A lot of these are terrible, but we have here DDIM, no, not great. Uni PC here at CFG to two is looking okay-ish. But it's not fantastic, and you can see like DPM fast here, and some of the 3M ones, SD, are really terrible. But we have the DPM2 here, that's pretty good, and the Euler A, that's pretty good. We're going to do a second one, just with a photorealistic prompt here. We're going to take another model, Epic Realism, instead of the Dream Shaper one. We're still using Stable Fusion 1.5, and uh, you're probably going to see that for this model, the results are going to vary a little bit. We are again generating this in real time, so uh, about 100 images popping out here at blazing fast speeds. Total progress time here was about a minute for around 100 images and let's check here again for this model we have two mkaras not fantastic euler a here looks pretty good euler pretty good dpm 2a this one here 
CFG2 turned out to be um, pretty good. DPM++ SDE, okay-ish with the higher CFG. Most of these are not great, similar as previously. However, more are working now with this uh, shorter cinematic prompt. As you can see, some of these are actually looking pretty good. DDIM around 1.5 to CFG is okay. UniPC starts looking showing some promise but isn't really getting it. So what's my recommendation then? Well, if you are in Automatic 11.11, try Euler Array for now, but uh, make some tests of your own and make sure you test with um, the preferred model that you like to use. So let's hop over to Comfy and this is where it's really going to shine. First of all, we're going to go into the manager, make sure that you update your Comfy, that it's it's the latest version because we're going to need the, the K sampler with LCM sampler here. So we're going to change this to LCM. We're going to add a LoRa, LoRa loader. We're going to get the one we want, which was the LCM SD 1.5 in this case. I'm just going to take this, load the LoRa here in between. I'm going to drop the model here go and keep going into the case sampler. I'm going to change the steps to 8 and we're going to ch change the CFG to let's do 1.5 for now and we are generating. So this is 1.5 and we did a quick generation here that looks much much better than the results that we got. Almost all the samplers in automatic 11.11. So whatever you generate now we're going to get some uh, pretty good looking images. As you can see the LCM sampler here is doing a much greater job so if you want these insane speeds without the need to do messing about with settings and other samplers in Automatic 11.11, you're going to need to use Comfy UI for now. If we can just keep queuing these up, you can see the speeds that we're getting here live. I'm also going to show you this with an Excel model here. I'm going to change the LoRa to the SDXL1. I'm going to change the size, 1024, 1024 here. I'm just going to queue these up. So it takes a second to load the new model. And now we should see live renders coming in here. So these are live renders. These are not sped up at all. And this is 1024 by 1024 SDXL images. Pretty good if you ask me. If you want to learn more about this, check out the blog post. I'm going to put that in the link description below. So this is basically explaining how all this works. It's magic for most of us, but for a lot of the AI researchers, it's just what they do every day. It says here, here's an example. The speed difference we're talking about generating a single 1024 by 1024 image in on, on an M1 Mac with SDXL base takes about a minute using the LCM LoRa. We get great results in just six seconds and they used four steps. Using a 4090, we get almost instant response, less than one second. This unlocks the use of SDXL applications where real-time events are a requirement. So that's kind of cool. And I know people in my Discord have been playing with this, uh, I, I know Kiksu play with it to get, um, he used his face in a webcam and got real-time renders from the webcam. So that was kind of cool, to be honest. You can see comparison here from the number of, of steps. So between one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps here. And you can see at start, starting at step four, five here, the image really starts taking shape. So you can play with even lower values than eight. You can play with like four or five, especially if you have a low end GPU or an older computer. Try four steps, five steps. And you can also use this with animations. So if you want to get some speeds into those animative animations, be sure to try out the LCM LoRa's. And talking about guidance scale here, like we talked about the CFG, so between one and two, but they say if you have a CFG of one, it effectively disables negative prompts. If you have a guidance scale between one and two, you can use the negative prompts. And like they said, we found the largest values don't work. So to remember that, set your CFG to one or two. But if you have one, negative prompts are going to be out of the question. They have some speed comparisons here. SDXL LoRa LCM four steps on the left here. We have SDXL standard 25 steps on the right. Like we said, on a Mac, it's going to be hugely different. It's six seconds, six and a half seconds versus a minute. 280 TI, 4.7 seconds versus 10 seconds. 3090, you start getting to, to some real speeds. You can get almost as, almost to a second here, seven seconds that you had before. And if you are not 4090 like me, you're getting sub second speeds, which I mean, it was fast before, but this is blazingly fast. It's going to help with, especially with my animative renders. And e you can even use this on a CPU. Now, this Intel here is a, is a quite beefy i9. It says they're using one out of 36 cores and it can still get to 29 seconds compared to the 
219 seconds used previously. This is good even for you potato pieces owners out there. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Check out this video here. And as always, have a good one.